What's up guys? It's been a while, but uh, we're back here with EMC. So I know you guys have been asking for this for a while on my IG, on the YouTube. So I'm basically done with the X7. Uh, this was a long, long journey. Probably, Let me tell you a little bit of something about the X7. So we got this car about almost a year ago. You know, that was during COVID. It was really bad. The body kit uh, was one of the toughest things I've ever done <laughs> in terms of car fixing up. So uh, I bought the X7. It didn't have the M body kit, uh, which meant that the kit that I wanted, it only fit on the M Sport bumpers. Big thanks to Renegade Design. Uh, they really hooked me up with this. So I had to get the M Sport bumpers first before I could install this Renegade Design kit on it. So that was a lot of work, man. It was probably around 100 parts. Uh, bumpers, the inside, like all the little like plasticky stuff and everything. It was, I mean, the list was like huge. It was like three pages long. Uh, we finally got it in and then uh, it was stuck in customs because uh, importing from Russia right now is really tricky. It took me months and months and months to get everything together and finally, you know. Uh, like I said, this has been one of the hardest projects for me because uh, we really kind of screwed up. When we bought the X7, we didn't get it with the M kit and we found this kit that we liked, but it would only fit on the M kit, so which means that before I put on the body kit, I need to put on the end kit first. So come over here. So this is all the end kit, okay? All stock, I think 80 items in this order. Uh, it took us forever. Sunny's here. Um, yeah, so we're super excited about this project because I think it will be the only fixed up X7 in Taiwan. And um, I think it's, it's gonna be a head turner. It's gonna be really cool. So what we're talking about here is uh, we got the Renegade kit on this thing. Uh, it has a widened fender. As you can see, uh, like I said, a lot of parts. I'm still missing parts uh, that didn't come with uh, with the first shipment. I'm missing these lights back here, so it looks kind of weird. But uh, we'll get everything done soon. Uh, so the Renegade body kit comes with you know the rear wing and then um, the diffuser that goes on to the M Sport body kit. Side skirts, uh, it has the mirror covers, a new hood. This hood I think is badass because if you, if you look at it from this, this angle, it's like uh, you can see it complete protruding. It's like this child child, which really gives it a lot more aggressive feeling. We blackened out the grill, you know, like I always black out my cars. And then it has a front lip that goes on the M Sport body kit as well. So I mean, um, all in all, I think it looks pretty good. What do you think, Jason? Looks pretty good? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Now, what about this car? So you know I have a big family, so I, I'm limited in my choices when it, when it comes to uh, SUVs. I need the seven seating. I need the extra space in the back. Kids are a little older now, they don't need strollers, but um, you know, it's just nice having all that extra space, right? And then the official announcement, we'll wait until Sunny gets here. It's something really, really cool. So we've been, wait we've been waiting on this, and that's why it took so long to get this car done. But I think it's pretty close to being what I always dreamed of. But let's wait until he gets here, and then uh, we'll see what's up. I just got here. This is the final product right here of Ryan's X7. It looks sick. It looks really sick. Yo, dude. This is... Oh, man. Okay. So, yeah, son. So, we're waiting for you. You want to tell us a little bit about these? Like, uh, what are we doing with this? Dude, this is really sick. What we want to present to you guys is we made custom EMC wheels. These are 100% forged. They're lightweight. Yeah, these are 23s and they're two-piece wheels. We designed this two-piece a little differently than the traditional two-piece. And I kind of just want to bring you in a little bit so you guys can see. Normally with a two-piece, you guys will see a lip or the spokes come out. However, this two-piece is very different. 
we put the bolts on inside. So this is actually the spoke and it comes to about here and this attaches to the barrel. The barrel is forged, which is great because a lot of the two beast wheels, the barrel is actually cast aluminum. So this is fully forged. And the cool thing about these custom wheels is that you can make custom offsets. Uh, right now, we did not want to go way too aggressive because of the fender flares right here. You can kind of just figure out how wide you want your car, if you want it to be super flush, if you want it to sit in and tuck right in. Uh, but either way, this is great because now we can do everything custom, including the colors. So Ryan actually chose piano black, like this polished gloss black lip, and then matte black finish for the spokes. And we have a custom center cap with the EMC shield right here. And we also have this custom EMC engraving on the spoke lip. And I think that's pretty tight. I think in the rear, we save about two and a, two half, and a half each. each. Um, and that's compared to stock 22s. 22. So these are even bigger, right? And yeah. they're lighter. So, uh, yeah. You know. And in the front, I think we saved about 1.5. We lost like 7.5 to 8 kg of unsprung weight. That's a good thing because what that means is when you're moving, when the wheels are rotating, there's less weight. So you actually feel like your car is faster. No. Yeah, I'm excited about these rims. That's why you know, this car took so long. I know a lot of you guys have been hounding me about the X7 video. Um, so here it is. I mean, uh, Good things come to those who wait. The kit, the rims. I mean, I'm missing my brakes. I'll get that done soon. Yeah. Like I said, shout out to Nani. The brakes are going to be good, man. Yeah, the brakes, the brakes are going to be good. I think it's going to fill out the whole wheel. I think with the exhaust, because of the valves and because of the setting of this particular model, um, the sound is not that vibrant. Yeah. You have the front pipes, the front mid pipes, pipes, mid pipes and the rear and, section. And the rear section, yeah. Uh, we're just missing the down pipes with the cats. I mean, yeah. I think once the cats go on, it should sound a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. Now, trust me, this car sounded like way before, but you know, there's, there's a little bit of sound now. Okay, okay, not bad. Okay, it's got a little grunt to it. I gotta admit, it's a night and day difference from before already, so. You know what? It's not bad. Why don't you listen to it? Hi. Yeah, that's how you got Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Well, it actually. used to be like completely mute, so. Yeah, I mean, no, it's, it's night and day, man. Actually, I actually think it's night and day difference. Oh, that's pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm super excited about the wheels because this is the first set of EMC wheels. This yep. is history in the making. Yep. Oh, did we tell them the name? Okay, so oh, these yeah. these rims are called uh, bougie. Uh, yeah. I came up with that because I, I feel I feel like it's bougie. Well, as he fuck, designed you know? it, so he's gonna come up with the name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And because uh, you know, it's like it's fancy. It's bougie, you know. Yeah. yeah. So for you, for those of you who don't know what bougie means, there's a little definition right here. Yeah, bougie. <laughs> okay. But um, yeah, we're thinking about really making EMC wheels, yeah. and uh, that's part of the reason why we're here today. Um, we wanted to show you the first set ever. The second set is on its way. I really want to show you guys, but I actually made a little EMC wheels and I'll give you guys a little glimpse. You know, this is what my set of wheels will sort of look like. It's going to be like a, a thick five spoke two piece wheel. And uh, I'm going to call it the fat five, you know? Well, uh, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to give you guys too much. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Ryan and I, we're, we're considering doing some big things. Yeah, yeah. You Maybe know? next so, year you guys will see some, uh, some, some really cool stuff from us. Yeah. Hey, just let us know in the comments what you think about the wheels, what you think about this project, and let us know if you think EMC should make our own wheels. Yeah, man, let us know. I mean, all that support, uh, you know, channel that energy and maybe we'll make this happen. Yeah. And yeah, man, I mean, so shout out to uh, Renegade, uh, shout out to Hub Auto, FI Exhaust. Thank you guys so much uh, for hooking everything up, and uh, we'll be back on the next episode. All right, man. Hey, I'm happy for you. Thank this you, brother. is the sickest X7 in Yo, Taiwan. dude, this is so sick. Thank you.